have your own room. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a book that reshaped the way I look at myself and others. A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. After I finished reading this book, I realized how women were and still are universally deprived of equal rights. When we talk about inequality, it's not limited to one country or one continent. It's actually a universal disease. In this short book filled with wisdom, Wolf argues that before the 18th century Europe, we don't know much about women's achievement and contributions in different fields, such as art, literature, politics, and economics. But what we do certainly know about the women of the past is that they took care of their house chores, they took care of their children, and they remained mostly indoor. Women populate the world, men civilize it, says Wolf in Monday or Tuesday. William Shakespeare, almost everyone knows this name even if many people have not read his work. How did Shakespeare manage to write his plays? How did he manage to write his poetry? Wolf argues that one of the secret ingredients to his success was having a private room, a private space where he could write and rewrite, where he could think and rethink without any distraction. Jane Austen, on the other hand, where did she write all of her novels? Wolf states that as a woman, she probably did not have her own private sanctuary. She could have written them in the dining room, kitchen or family room. She might even have to hide her novels because it was unheard for a woman to hold a pen and express herself in writing. Austen's first novel, Sense and Sensibility, was published under by a lady. Her second novel, Pride and Prejudice, was published under by the author of Sense and Sensibility. For most of history, Anonymous was a woman. Wolf's final message in the book is, all women should be economically and intellectually independent. In other words, a woman must have money and a room of her own if she is to succeed.